No, I mean, we don't grow up uh, on average in drumming. You know what I'm saying? And I own yeah, the rhythm, yeah, what's up, I own beats, I own vibrations. You know what I mean? So to have that experience for me, personally, it was unique. You know what I'm saying? So I'm when I go to my own days on a Sunday and just chill, Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? My head like, yeah, play drums, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, uh, when I take the family over there, which is a whole nother Greetings, I'm here with uh, young brother, brother Kyrie. Greetings, my brother. Brother, uh, we're here at the African American Cultural Festival, and uh, first of all, uh, what are your feelings about uh, being here at the African American Cultural Festival today? I think it's beautiful, the culture is beautiful. I'm proud to be black. The looks very bright. Absolutely, I understand what you're saying, and as a young man, you know, growing up here in America, you know, a lot of our young people are pretty much um, deprived of the knowledge of our own culture because we were robbed of our name, language, religion, and culture when we were brought here. Uh, what, what are your thoughts about um, the, the, the uh, state of, uh, of our young people today when it relates to um, a knowledge of themselves? Uh, man. Yeah, All right. In the school system that we're in right now, we, we don't really know a lot of, uh, about ourselves. Uh, coming from a uh, public background, going to public schools, they don't really teach us about our black African American uh, history. They just talk about you know certain things that go on that, uh, as far as their, uh, the culture that they they think that we should uh, learn about. But yeah, we don't really know a, a lot about um, like our uh, culture. Like you probably you probably ask um, I'm familiar. I'm familiar uh, with black uh, kids just walk up to them and ask them. A little bit of stuff about himself, he probably might even know about his culture. Uh, just, we don't really have that, um, I, I don't know how to say it, but we don't really have that good, good, good education that would tell us about us, but not at the same time, like, we still, we still um, uh, like, we still have, like, certain, certain things that we don't really know, but, you know, it's hard to explain because it's we have a lot as black people as black people we have a lot to learn about ourselves that we really we really don't know right right uh, absolutely I, de I definitely absolutely understand what you're saying because i know that you know when i was going to school i didn't learn anything you know about real our real culture our real history um it wasn't until i got out of school that i even learned about a man named marcus garvey for instance uh, Ida B. Wells, uh, the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and uh, you know they might have had a little bit about Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, but with Martin Luther King, they kept him in the mode of "I have a dream," and with Malcolm X, it was just a slogan by any means necessary. What by any means necessary, I never really knew until once again I got out of school and got more familiar with, with uh, my culture. Um, so what are some of the things uh, that you look forward to as far as uh, coming out of this call for justice or else 10-10-15? Uh, I just want our black people to see that uh, we could be, we could come all, everybody, we could come together and be one Christian, Muslim, we could all come together as one and, and um, help each other, um, not not just during uh, the justice of uh, us, like after justice uh, we can see, see um, somebody down the street, a black person down the street, it's helping. You don't have to be like so uh, timid stuff like when you walk up to a black person you don't have to just be we have to be friendly and more kind to our black people because we as black people we went through so much at, <coughs> going through slavery and uh, being segregated and stuff during segregation time we, we had we went through a lot in our lives as black people we just we just need that comfort and peace with each other all right all right thank you brother because um i basically i say this the, sh the same sentiments as you. You know, one of the things that, you know, I wish that 
we would do is just as what you're saying is that when we walk down the street and we see each other, man, we should acknowledge each other because we're behind enemy lines. You know what I'm saying? The enemy don't love you. The enemy don't love me. So why should we look at each other like we enemies when we we have a a real enemy uh, that uh, seeks to keep us divided and conquered? You know what I'm saying? So I really, really, really agree with that statement. I think another thing too, brother, is that, you know, in the neighborhoods that we, we live in, we need to begin to claim those neighborhoods, you know what I'm saying, and keep them clean, you know, because we need to take ownership of wherever our feet touch the ground, you know what I mean? And so when we look at the black community, the black community as, as a people, we need to claim our community. And our young people, we need to understand that when we commit any type of crime, you know, that what we do is we harm uh, the economic development of our community. So we need to definitely uh, work on those type of issues and, and through unity and solidarity and harmony, we can come, we can bring that about. Any last, any last words? We just, we, we shouldn't be, as a black people, we shouldn't be fighting over uh, certain sides of the street, because they're not our streets. But we, like you said, we need to claim, that, uh, claim those streets as a, as a unified people, as black people. We should, we should just go to our communities and start clean, cleaning up our communities, make them better, make them look better, get the trash out of the communities. Get all those drug dealers and people that's not not trying to do any better for their communities. We need to help our communities out. And if, if we see like the poverty stricken, um, some of these poverty poverty stricken uh, communities, we should um, do food drives for the communities. Help help our help our people out. Let let our people know that we care about our people. Because you know sometimes when they see people out here trying to uh, help them, they they know they just only gonna be there for that one time. They they, should, they need to see people's. People, peaceful people's face often, they shouldn't just see that piece of person one um, one month of the year and all oh, they're here for one year, they ain't gonna help us out during one of the times that we really need them. That's why I really think that shit happen. Like, some people, some people are not, they don't have a, as much as resources as other people, so we just really need to just help our people out. Look, let them know that we care. Man, spoken like a true soldier. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Kyrie, for um, um, uh, granting me this interview. And uh, we will have Brother Kyrie on to interview a few people, uh, younger people, as they come a around here. Uh, our brother will interview him and uh, look forward to for more powerful interviews. Peace. All right, that's